This is VE Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba Group Holdings. This will be an update video for my previous analysis on June 29th, so I have about a month's worth of price action to discuss. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos, it means a lot. Just a reminder that I have no positions in this company, so I'll give an unbiased viewpoint. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see on the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking at the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a vertical line um, where I left off for my first analysis on BABA which was on June 29th. Here is the vertical line. I'm going to make it black and let's make it a little thicker so you guys can see. So everything after this is new price action that I'm going to discuss in this video. So I'm going to go over the channels that I see BABA um, currently in and the one that I was previously in. So the one that BABA was previously in is this one right here where it's kind of like the spike. And then we had the close outside and a move to a new low. See this was the channel. We had a close outside, move to a new low and that's when we, see, when, that's when we saw the reversal. And now we're currently in this spiking channel right now. So that was a spike down and then we went in a flatter channel. See how this EMA is more sharper than this one. This one's more uh, shallower than this one. This is steeper. So that's the spike and then this is the channel created from that spike. So it looks like it's about right there. We get a lot of touches on that low. About one, two, three, four. This is the most recent one right here. So since we got a bounce right there, um, there's a lot of reasons for it to go higher uh, temporary because there's a gap right here and we're super far away from the EMA. The last time we were that far we far away from the EMA was right here and we also created that gap and look at it, price uh, slowly trended up to fill it. So I can see the same thing happening here. However, um, this could be just the midline for the um, price action and this could be the lows of the range. So we could be just finding temporary support on the midline and it's just gonna hang out there for a couple days until it falls lower to about this side of the channel however um, I don't see that happening I just I believe we are gonna see a temporary bounce and a minor correction back up to the uh, resistance side of the channel or even a, a break before continuing lower because of this measured move so this is the measured move I showed last month this one right here this was the first leg down and then we saw a correction and then the price kept on trending lower. So that means uh, we, are, we need to look for a target and that target would be the second leg of the first one. And that would be the 166 level. So in the first video I said 167 level, this is close enough, 166 level. And we almost got it uh, in that push lower. However, um, it's not going to just keep on going in a straight line. We are, uh, the market takes detours, it, it kind of goes up and down. Uh, side to side it doesn't really go in a straight line so we could reach it uh, in this one push down but I don't think so We're probably gonna see a correction because also we already made two legs down right here this was the first leg and then we saw a two-legged correction and that marks the center of the pattern and then we saw the second leg so the market needs to make another two legs break to take a break um, and take back profits uh, people who took profits on this move down, they need to uh, take the profits. So that's why we'll see the market go up to fill this gap and we're far away from EMA and we're on this lower side of the channel. So there's a higher probability that we're going to go uh, up in the short term than down in the short term. So uh, in the short term, we are going to see uh, probably more upside. However, in the long term, the price is still trending lower because we're still making lower highs and lower lows. So that marks um, a downtrend. The EMA is pointing down. We still haven't met the measured move. So everything is telling me in the long term, which is about a few weeks to a month, uh, the price will continue lower, especially since the earnings is August 3rd. So um, that could be the thing they use to push the market down lower. We just have to wait and see. So that's everything I saw on the daily chart and I gave you guys an update on the recent price action and what will probably occur and what happened. So I'm going to remove all of the drawing tools and show you guys uh, the long term pattern on the weekly chart. Here we have the weekly chart and the long term pattern which is about uh, like a year's worth of time or even 
uh, multiple years worth of time is an uptrend because most of the price bars are still above the EMA and is pointing up. I'm going to go ahead and put a channel on here for you guys to see uh, more clear, clearer. So this is the channel that I see the price um, respecting. It looks like right there. This is a really good fit, especially since we saw a little break out here of the channel and then we got a little break here. We fell back in, kept on making higher lows. And then we blasted off and broke this side of the channel. So once we see a break on the side of the channel, we're probably going to get the same thing on the opposite side. And that's what uh, we got here. The price was overextended. Look how far price got away from the EMA. The EMA is right at this 270 level and price went up to the 320 level. So that's even a bigger um, space than this um, move right here. So that's why uh, the market made one last push up before selling off. So... I still see that target. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on, uh, put it back on the uh, these this weekly chart. Excuse me, and it's still the 167 level. And on the weekly uh, chart, this bar looks kind of bearish. However, uh, this probably still a couple more days left, so it could turn into a bullish pin bar to come back to fill in this gap and uh, make a couple corrections back to the EMA before continuing lower to this target. After it reaches this target, who knows what could happen. Um, it's still too early to call. However, since we made two legs down, uh, that could be end of the correction. And we could see potential upside back up to um, this high or even surpass it. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time. Bye.